Hey friends, A.B. Sigler here, back this week with another Sig Locktail. This is our last whiskey drink because it's the end of the month. We'll figure out what we're gonna do in December in a little bit. This drink is a Sazerac. Woo! It's a classic drink. I know I say that all the time, but this one definitely fits the bill. Created in uh, early 1800s, 1830s-ish in New Orleans by an apothecarian called Antoine Hey show. If you are getting into drinks a little bit, you will know that name because he also created a long lasting, very, very famous bitters that we will actually use to make this drink as well. Let's get started. Like most whiskey drinks, you're not gonna make it a shaker, you're gonna pour it into the glass, but this is a mixing glass. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our old fashioned glass, that's this one, with some ice to chill down the glass because this is a drink that's served neat. If you're unfamiliar with cocktails, so you fill that, set it aside. If you're unfamiliar with cocktails served neat, that means no ice in the glass, no water, nothing that's gonna melt in the glass, but you can chill the glass down ahead of time. In this case, that's what's recommended for the Sazerac. Okay, start with simple syrup. Now, normally you would use a sugar cube right here, but I am terrible at mixing the sugar cube, so I've learned my lesson and I made myself a rich, simple syrup. A simple syrup is one part sugar to one part water. This is a rich, simple syrup. It's two parts sugar to one part water. You are going to use one cube of sugar if you have a sugar cube. So I'm gonna use half an ounce in this case. Pour it in the bottom of your mixing glass and then you're going to use Peychaud's bitters, like I said. Uh, I am going to use uh, three dashes. And if you are unfamiliar with dashes versus uh, drops, this is a little dropper vial, you see? And if I press it like that, those are drops. But if I hold it over my, my mixing glass and shake it, that's a dash. We want dashes. Bitters are very, very powerfully flavored, so a little goes a long way. And just like everything else, you can add more, but you can't take any out once you do it wrong. If you're using a sugar cube, then you're gonna use a muddler like this, and you're gonna mix those two things together, and then you're gonna add your ice. But I used simple syrup, so I didn't do it that way. For mine, Whistle Pig Old World Cask Aged, or Cask Finished Rye, the original recipe calls for between 1.5 and three ounces. I wanna be safe, I already told you this, every time you can add more liquor, I go ahead and just go with the two ounce standard pour. Ain't nobody got time for that much alcohol. The mixing glass is nice because it's really big and it shimmies around in there all together. Then you do exactly that. Obviously you can make this directly in a glass, but you're going to serve it in a non, a glass that doesn't have ice in it. So you maybe want to make it, you can make it in a glass this size, but you're going to leave this one full of ice and mix it in another one. And then I'll show you how it finishes. You do this until the edges of your mixing glass start to frost up like that. So you know that that's cold enough. Here's the fun weird part. Are you ready? You've been icing this glass. Dump that ice out. And then you're gonna use an anise flavored liquor. I'm gonna use absinthe and you use a teeny tiny bit of it. You just pour it a quarter ounce into the glass or more. You can't even see it down there. See that tiny little bit? And you swirl it and you cover the whole sides of the glass and everything with your anise flavored liquor or your absinthe in this case. I wonder, you could probably use ouzo for this too. And then you pour the extra anise liquor out because you only want it clinging to the sides. That's what it's made for. And then oof, you think, oh, it's time to put back in my, uh, my ice or whatever, but no. All you do is pour your bitters and rye and sugar into this glass. Take a lemon, you cut it cross section like this. Peel the lemon out of the peel like this. Cut that peel maybe in half, something like that. Make a lemon twist by twisting it. Set it in your glass. Whoop, mine fell in, but that's okay. And that is your Sazerac. Can't tell you why it's served without ice, um, but I do like it exactly how it's served. So I recommend if you're gonna make this, um, definitely chill the ice or the glass with ice first, because that helps. And so then, 
Mm. Such a classic drink. This has, um, uh, anise is a licorice flavor, but it's very, very slight because you just swirl it around the edge of the glass. So if you'd like to enjoy this with us, please join us at Sigler and Place. We meet you guys out on the internet at twitch.tv slash scottsigler, youtube.com slash scottsigler, and facebook.com slash scottsigler every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. This week on Sigler and Place, we will be drinking these classic drinks, these Sazeracs. You can do this if you'd like. You can drink anything you'd like. You can drink nothing at all. But if you want, please join us. We'd love to see you. And in the meantime, please stay safe.